Oh, hi there! Today we're doing three simple and high-end DIY IKEA hacks. I'm on, this is Mars, and today we're flipping these simple and budget IKEA products and we're turning them into beautiful and functional pieces that actually look like they came from a designer store. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It really helps us keep making these videos for you. Now we are starting right off with the first project and for this one we are going to need the back thumb stool from IKEA. And as you can see, mine is in such a rough condition and needs to be restored so badly. But first, we're going to sand it all off, so let's go! If you already have this one and it's brand new, you can totally skip this step, but mine so desperately needed a makeover, so we have to give it a sand. After finishing with the sanding, it's now time to stain the stool. I'm using this leftover stain I got from a previous project and I'm applying it to the stool with a brush and then wiping it off with a cloth. The stool already looks so good, but of course we are taking it a step further to make it even cuter. And for that we are going to need some sort of ribbon. I found this cotton webbing in my craft box, so I'm using this. Here are some inspo photos, just to give you the idea of what we are going to do with it. So first I'm determining the length of the distance and I'm cutting a bunch of strips in that size. I'm going to need around 10 pieces per side, so let's do it. Once we're done with the cutting, it's now time to start stapling our strips. I'm starting on the shorter side first, and that is the bottom side of the step. Now once that side was done, we're pulling the strips across and over and we're stapling them on the inside. While doing this, make sure to pull it tight so that it is snug. And I know it doesn't look best from this angle, but you'll just have to trust the process. And once our shorter side is done, it's time to staple them on the longer side. So again, we're stapling the strips on the inside first. Now here comes the fun part. To start the weaving, we are bringing the strips up and over to the top and we're starting to weave it up and down. Thank you. 
the trick here is to start on a different side with each new strip. So if the first one is going up, then down, the second one is going down, then up. And now when we're done with all of the weaving, it's time to staple the ends one last time. And again, we're pulling tight and snug, stapling the strips one by one. Now let's remember for just a second how our stool used to look like. And here it is how it looks like now. I'm just over the moon with how this one turned out. It honestly looks like a vintage mid-century piece and I love it. Now for the second project, we're using this IKEA shelf. This one costs only $6 and I have an amazing idea of how to make it look gorgeous. But first things first, let's stain it because I really don't like this bleached wood look. Once our shelf is dry, it's now time to assemble it. However, we are only attaching the sides and we are leaving out the dowel that goes across. But no worries, we are attaching that one later on. So the idea is to bring the dowel to the top and to do that we are cutting the ends that should have gone inside the holes. Once the ends are cut, we are adding a little bit of wood glue and we're placing the dowel between the sides of the shelf. And after the glue is all dried out, it's time to start adding the cover to the front of our shelf. I really wanted to do this with cane webbing, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I decided to go with this jute one. I'm cutting it to size and I'm attaching it on the inside using hot glue.
And now, are you ready to see how my $6 IKEA shelf turned out? It really looks so much better than the basic one from IKEA and it's honestly such an easy update that anyone can do. And now for our final project. We're flipping this $5 dish drainer and we're turning it into a floating bookshelf. I had this one for such a long time and I'm so happy I didn't throw it away because of the mold in the back. And the only thing we need to do is just attach it to the wall. Simple as that. I'm doing it with this double-sided sticky tape that's made for heavy-duty stuff, but you can absolutely go ahead and screw it on the wall or just use command strips. Just wherever you prefer. And now we're sticking it to the wall and all that is left to do is just arrange some books on it. So let's do it. And now, are you ready to see how our dish drainer turned out? This project costed me zero dollars since I already had the IKEA dish drainer and I cannot believe I haven't thought of this sooner. And that wraps it up for today. Did you like my IKEA flips? Let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. I'm honestly so happy with all of them. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It really helps my channel so much and I'm forever grateful. Plus, I'm planning an IKEA trip next week and I'm taking you with me so you'd like to stay tuned for all of my upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you designers next week. Bye! Our sleepy boy, Mars. Let's go! Oh my god. Aren't you adorable? Did you like my IKEA hacks? You couldn't care less about my IKEA hacks, right? <laughs> oh. It's a hard life. I know. It's a hard life. Bye.